we are going by taxi to see the bloody birds <laughs> because the buses are so bad here like one every two hours or something like that so we wouldn't make it today anywhere if I wouldn't take a taxi yay the ticket <laughs> to the birds <laughs> Hi, so cute, the taxi driver. <laughs> Arigato! <laughs> Yay! We made it to the this very scary looking birdies. Hello, Toki! <laughs> Tron! <laughs> Yay! Everything is lush green. So I'm happy to be in the nature. Scarlet Ibis. Hello, guys. <laughs> Scarlet Ibis. Wow, really amazing color. Scarlet Ibises. And da, da. <laughs> okay, this one is dead. It's his dad, his museum. Yay! Toki selfie time! Because only with a dead one you can actually take a selfie. If he would be alive, he would so run away. They are very shy and they don't trust and don't like humans. No, baby. <laughs> Another dead Toki. What this angle is cool. These are the guys who think Toki is delicious and they should try to eat them out. Scary! I want to tell you, see from outside it looks white. However, when they spread their wings underneath is this color which is called Toki color in Japan. So that's really so special about the bird. And then this is the heron that I always say it's an egg red. This is what they eat, all kind of worms and uh, insects that they find in the rice field. And then these guys are eating them. Yay, selfie time! Selfie time with the toki! <laughs> oh, this is so silly, but <laughs> this is what Japan is. And we have here oriental white ibis. Hey guys. <laughs> This tree is so pretty, red leaves. And here we have a tree in full bloom. It's so beautiful. And the ground is full of flowers. <laughs> here are the breeding cages and we cannot get so close to them to not frighten <laughs> the poor bird. And finally, ja, ja, here are the actual togi. And they uh, have a gland that produces this grey color. So when they are mating, they are making themselves dirty with some grey stuff. At least that's what I read on Wikipedia. Not so white. So I suppose we cannot get closer to these big cages. It's kind of like this, so probably to avoid the birds being too stressed and not want to mate, um, they are kept kind of far away from the people. One of them was flying and I could see the feather underneath that amazing stunning apricot color. あと、僕も手しっぱい引っ張ると動きますので、はい、こんなんで。めっちゃ素敵。ハンドメイド。ありがとうございます。わあ、ありがとうございます。わあ、素敵。ね、
ますのでこれもはいやってみてください。So here is how we can learn how to make one. Amazing! So beautiful! うれしいありがとうございます。Awesome! We got an origami toki! <laughs> Now I'm not so sad that we cannot see them that close. Yay! Wow! Are those real or not? Ouch! See here something. <laughs> And we have here a speedy information. So, from eggs, when they come out, they look like this. And then, here, you know, when they are babies, I think、uh, people taking care of them, feeding them. And this is when they fly. You can see this stunning color in the feather underneath. And this is when they、uh, add that gray color from a gland. Here it's first white, white, and then here he smears that black, dirty color, and then becomes like this. So, check it out. The Latin name of this bird is Nipponia nippon. So, it's like Japan, Japan. They are so much the symbol of Japan. Meanwhile,、uh, they had to be brought back from China because the Japanese o n e were extinct. So, it's really ironical. To see the name of this bird, Nipponia nippon toki, the red crested ibis of Japan. So many places where you could take photos. See, these are here on the ground. So I suppose we get on top and take a selfie from above. <laughs> like this. This is what you gotta do when you get to this spot. The cute items. t shirts. Here, if 
open the post box. Looks like a Japanese crested ibis. <laughs> a Toki post box. See, even here it writes Nipponia Nippon. Because <laughs> we are in Nippon. <laughs> Happy mission accomplished. We saw the damn birds. Now, next stop. <laughs> 